Welcome to Secure Single. Secure Single is here to help you thrive as a single person. I am James Bullen, and today I'll be talking about how to stop being a coward. There's a quote by G. Michael Humph that says, quote, Hard times create strong men. Strong men create good times. Good times create weak men. And weak men create hard times. End quote. Without people and society being brave and standing up for principles, then people will fall for anything and succumb to fear. It is especially vital for men to be strong, brave, to have critical thinking skills, and to be able to stand up for themselves so that they stand up for others when things happen that should not happen and that hurt other people or that will affect others and their lives and future generations. The world, but especially the Western countries with the United States in particular, are now in a hard time stage, but people today, especially men, who are supposed to stand up and protect others have become weak. This is seen in many different ways in Western society, but especially in how people will often now value safety over freedom, even when it means that their children and their grandchildren will likely live in a less free world as a result of their choices and actions instead of standing up for what is needed and stand up when it may be required. They would rather go along with the crowd and do what is comfortable Instead of having to make the hard choices and to endure the unpleasant things that may come along as a consequence to make me the hard decision that goes against the direction of the crowd and the pressure that's coming externally from other places. First, what does it mean to be a coward? A coward is someone who lacks the courage to do or to endure dangerous or unpleasant things. When someone calls you a coward is often a shameful label that gets placed on people who are afraid to take any risks or it could just be something as simple as doing something that will result in you getting shamed in your own life because it is the unpopular thing to do. It can also be a way to avoid doing something heroically that would put you in danger. Yet it also be something as simple as choosing to not bring something up or to acknowledge something because the consequences or reality of doing so may be unpleasant to you or to others. It usually simply means taking the easy way out of things in life rather than taking the hard route, even though that is the right path. Second, how can you learn to stop being a coward? You'll learn to think for yourself. This is especially important in a society that places so much weight and unquestionably believes authority without any question. When you learn to think critically, you can test to see if something is true or not by testing it against logic, data, and facts to verify if it is legitimate or not. You can take action to protect yourself and those who you care about in your own life. Some basic ways are to learn to be prepared in case an emergency happens. This means having emergency food and supplies, and ways to be out of the financial system by holding cash, cryptocurrencies, and precious metals in case there's an SHTF scenario. You can also take self-defense classes, learn how to fire a handgun correctly, and also carry one. You can learn to practice self-discipline by pushing yourself to work to achieve your life goals, test your skills so that you don't doubt yourself, and to practice mindfulness so you're more aware of your surroundings and of yourself. Another way is to learn everything you can about yourself, from your strengths to your weaknesses, so you can challenge your fears on a daily basis and to work to overcome your fears that you may have in your own life. These are just a few different ways that you can get started so that you can work to beat fear in your own life and to stop being a coward if you think that you are one. When you start to become less of a coward, you'll start to slowly work towards what you want in life and to reach your goals by overcoming fear in your own life, and then you'll also stop resisting peer pressure from others. You can also learn to stop labeling yourself as something since that only feeds negative emotions and that will also make you otherwise yourself for who you are even though you're just on a journey and life is a continual process. Society is in a bad place today which rather than people valuing two of their primary single life values, autonomy and freedom. People today value a false sense of safety and believing what they are told by the mainstream media and by the people in power. People today have become dependent on centralized systems from governments to big chain stores and the major problems with centralization is that it creates a single point of failure. That dependency creates a false sense of safety when just one thing could happen or one thing could go wrong this could bring down the entire centralized system. For that reason, it is important to learn to decentralize and to do things that other people most likely won't even think about doing so that you can be prepared for yourself and prepared in your own life and to help others 
who are closest to you in your own life if things do go SHTF and that you can also stand up for yourself if things do go bad. Now it's time for the question of the day. What do you think of cowards? Comment below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment below. For more content that will help you thrive as a single person, you can watch this video or you can watch this playlist to learn more about can thrive as a single person.